Today I'm going to talk about the current state of the meta in Destiny 2 and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If you enjoyed my content, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So the meta isn't just one thing like a lot of people think it is. Most people think it's just what weapons are good, and it's not. The meta itself is a constant change of weapons, armor, perks, classes, subclasses, etc. It pretty much comes down to what works on the online competitive scene. In this video, I am going to specifically talk about the console meta and not the PC meta. And yes, they are different. But if you guys would like me to cover the PC meta as well, then let me know in the comment section below. Prior to the Warmind DLC, Mighty Multi 2 reigned supreme in the competitive as well as the quick play playlist since the beginning of Destiny 2. One thing for sure is that the meta will constantly change with sandbox updates, DLC releases, and sometimes even hotfix patches. For example, there was a brief period in time where the Prometheus Lens was just straight OP. Yes, I said it. It was overpowered for like a week, or maybe two, and then Bungie did a hotfix, and then the Prometheus Lens pretty much went to shit and hasn't really recovered from it. But anyways, back to the main part of the meta. Let's start with the weapons. At the start of the Warmind DLC launch, we got a few weapon updates, and then about a week later, we got exotic sandbox updates, and this in turn made the Vigilance Wing as well as the Graviton Lance even more playable because neither was that playable prior to Warmind in the PvP aspect of the game. Let's not forget Catalyst being brought into Destiny 2 which made exotic weapons even more deadlier than before. Now, many people thought that the Redrix Claymore was going to be the top weapon to use in PvP and given its perks and boy we were so wrong. The Vigilance Wing is a beast. Being able to two-shot Guardians and then the Graviton Lance can also two-shot if you aim correctly or three-shot in the same time that it takes someone to pull the trigger twice with the Vigilance Wing. However, the meta is actually a two-part thing and no, I don't mean just PvE and PvP. The meta is broken up into Crucible and Trials. These two game modes have different metas. What works in the regular Crucible won't always work in Trials. For example, the top 5 weapons in the Crucible according to DestinyTracker.com and as of this recording are the Graviton Lance, Vigilance Wing, Sins of the Past, NAOD, and Crimson. However, in the Trials meta, the top 5 weapons that are being used are the Graviton Lance, Vigilance Wing, NAOD, Last Hope, and Main Ingredient, from which now I apparently have to pull mine out of the vault. What works in one meta will not always work in the other, which is why Crimson is not used that much in Trials. Now I said it's not used that much, I did not say it's not used at all. But then again, like I said earlier, the meta isn't just about weapons. What about exotic armor? So let's start with the Warlock. The top exotic armor that is being used by Warlocks in the meta, and this goes for both the Crucible as well as uh, Trials, are the Transversive Steps, Luna Faction Boot, and the Ophidian Aspect. As for the Hunter, we have the Stomp EE5, Wormhusk Crown, and the Raiden Flux, or as I like to call it, the Raiden Flux. And last but not least, we have the Titan, and we have the Synthoseps, the Lion Rampant, and Doom Marchers. But let's not forget the most used subclasses in the meta. So for the Hunter, we have the Arc Strider and the Night Stalker, and this kind of makes sense because we don't really see Gunslingers unless it's Mayhem. For Warlocks, our Stormcaller and Voidwalker, and for the Titans, the majority of the subclasses that are used are Sentinels and Sunbreaker. Now, this is not to say that the other subclasses that weren't mentioned aren't being used. These are just the subclasses that are just used the most in the meta. Now, this information is heavily reliable because DestinyTracker.com actually pulls their information straight from the Destiny 2 database. When it comes to playing the meta, I feel that it's more significant when you play in the competitive playlist or in Trials. When you are playing in the quick play playlist, it's more like of a fun time to me. It's like a place where you can try out weapons and just mess around. In the competitive playlist and in Trials, it is almost 100% given that if you are not playing the meta, you are not going to win, and that's because everyone else that is playing in that same match most likely will be playing the meta. Yeah, you will have those 
100 people out of 1,000 that don't play the meta in either of those two game modes and they will do fine, but the majority of Guardians in Competitive and Trials are playing the meta. However, one thing to note about the meta is that it will always alter, change, evolve, and even after the Forsaken DLC is released, there will be serious amounts of change. But there will be more on the Forsaken DLC later on. So the question remains, will you change with the meta or be stubborn and get left behind? The choice is pretty much up to you. Personally, I like playing the meta. I love the thought of the Graviton Lance when it was introduced into Destiny 2 and it only got better after the sandbox changes for exotics and even more better, wait, more better? Is that even correct English? Whatever, who cares. It got even more better with the introduction of catalysts. So what about you guys? Do you confine yourself to the meta or are you a part of those who like to rebel against it? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.